tonight I'm making fish tacos with potato pancake and mango avocado salsa. I'm so excited to be taking part of this potato tastemaker challenge. This month the challenge is to take potatoes and a seafood item and make a meal. And I was assigned mahi-mahi, so I'm going to be making fish tacos using mahi-mahi. Uh, instead of tortillas, I'm going to do a potato pancake. And then I'm going to top it off with a salsa made with avocado and mango. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is make the potato pancakes. I've already peeled uh, the potatoes and also an onion, and I've got them all ready to go, and watch how easy this is. Grated potato. Okay, and finally the onion. Ideally, this would be dry, but since it was just freshly grated, it's going to be pretty wet. So I'm just going to kind of wring it out a little bit. I think that's going to be plenty. Then I'm going to add to that just a little bit of salt and pepper, about a teaspoon of salt. You know, I'm going to add a little more. Some freshly ground black pepper. And then a couple tablespoons of flour. And this, you kind of have to eyeball it. Um, I already put two or three tablespoons in here. And one last ingredient, an egg. Okay, we're going to mix that up. Okay, I think that's about right. Next, I'm going to go over to the stove, and I'm going to put the pancakes on the griddle and fry them up. Okay, I'm going to put some butter and olive oil in the pan. and then spoon the mixture. The idea is to kind of flatten it out and make sort of a pancake. Okay, now I'm going to see if it's time to flip them. They're looking good. I think it's working. Oh, looks like a potato pancake to me. Woo. Okay, it's time to take the potato pancakes out of the pan, and then I've got the warming drawer on my oven all ready for them. We'll keep them warm until we get the fish cooked. Next, I'm going to do the fish. McCormick's and Schmick's sent me a pound of mahi-mahi fillets to use for our challenge. I'm just going to saute them in a little bit of flour and salt and pepper in some olive oil and butter. Okay, we've got the mahi-mahi fillets. Just dredge them. And Let's put them in the pan like that. And basically, I'm just going to let these saute in the butter and olive oil about probably seven, eight minutes on a side, I'm thinking. Okay, while the fish is cooking, I'm going to make the mango salsa. The final step is the avocado mango salsa. So this is a mango, and I'm just going to peel it. All right, now I'm going to just take some slices out of the mango. Okay, we're going to just dice it up, put the mangoes into the bowl. We're going to do a red pepper chopped up. I'm going to add the red pepper to this bowl. The recipe called for red onion, but I had this sweet onion that I picked up at the farm stand on Saturday, so I'm just going to add this. A tablespoon of sugar for sweetness, a tablespoon of olive oil. This recipe calls for white wine vinegar, but I don't have that, so I'm going to use some white wine and some vinegar. And I'm guessing about a tablespoon of each, since it calls for two tablespoons. I'll just make it up as we go. Okay, a teaspoon of sugar, uh, salt, salt this time. And then finally I'm going to add some avocado, but first I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. You want to fold the avocado in carefully because it bruises easily. There you go. Okay, 
like that. Finally, I'm just going to add a hint of lime. Gives it a little kick, plus it'll keep the, um, the fruit and the avocado from going brown. And that's the salsa. Aren't those colors pretty? I'm also going to add just a little bit of cilantro. So let's plate it up and see how it looks. Pretty piece of fish. Avocado mango salsa. Okay, and then maybe some lime. A little cilantro for color and some green onions. And there you go. So here's my fish and potato dish for the October Tastemaker Challenge. I want to thank McCormick and Schmick for setting the fish. And please go vote for me on my YouTube video. So I can't wait to see who wins the October Challenge.